Good morning. My name is Allison Lerna Darlington, or Allie. When Doug Davis asked me to give a testimonial a while ago, um, I was honored, as, as I honestly could have given a testimonial after my first service here. My husband, Eric, and our two boys, Cameron, age four, and Caleb, age two, started coming to First Church about a year and a half ago. What finally sparked us to come was just after getting our Christmas tree, the day after Thanksgiving, of course, because Evergreen Farm sells out quick. Cameron had just turned three and recalled that the Christmas tree was associated with gifts, which led him to think that he was getting gifts that day. We went on to try and explain to him that Santa wasn't coming for another month, but he didn't quite get it. Eric and I decided we wanted our children to be part of something bigger than just us. Perhaps we also needed it. We didn't want our kids to grow up not knowing that there was a lot more to holidays than presents and Easter egg hunts. So a couple weeks later, we came to First Church. I was raised Catholic, as I've come to learn many of you were too. I made it all the way through confirmation. However, I was what Robin, Robin calls a questioning believer of the Catholic Church. I have a deep respect for all religions, but I knew Catholicism was not for me. I questioned why only males could lead the church when I was raised by my parents believing I could be anything I wanted to be, and I didn't need to rely on a male to do it. No offense, Eric. <laughs> My parents got divorced, and I felt as if we were not as welcome as those that came from whole families. My mother is an immigrant from Ireland and taught me that racism was not acceptable, and I never questioned it. That extended to everything from color of skin to sexual preference, and I just felt the Catholic Church had different beliefs than I did. I couldn't see myself going back and raising my children in a church I didn't feel comfortable in. Then I came to First Church. My actual first time was not while the great Pastor Robin was here. It was years before at a good friend of mine's wedding. Some of you may know, married to the fire chief. Three young children at the time were about to be merged into this marriage, and they were more than welcome in the church. They were even included in the ceremony. As part of the wedding vows, they were asked to accept their parents' new partner. Good thing they did, but it was amazing. That is when I knew First Church had beliefs similar to my own. I heard about the First Church more and more as I began to raise my own family. An advertisement in the Meeting House News, perhaps. It was of Robin, Andy, and the kids. Isaac had a bottle in his mouth, I believe, and they were just laughing in the picture. I wasn't sure if it was Andy or Robin that was the pastor, but I just looked at them and was like, hey, they look human. <laughs> and come to find out, they are. I checked out the website, saw Pub Theology, which I have yet to go to, but totally bragged to my friends about my church having gatherings where alcohol is an option. <laughs> Blessing of the backpacks, which we came to. Blessing of the animals, which we brought our aging dog to. And outside services, which is where my husband and I feel closest to God. I felt like I found a home just by checking out the website. Remember this, new members, when someone thinks you're weird for joining a church. After listening to one of Robin's past sermons, I must defend this church from being called weird. We are not weird. Those who do not have what we have are missing out. And then we came to service. Warm welcomes at the door, people guiding us where to go. And yes, it's okay to bring your children. Here's a stuffed animal, a pew packet, there's doodle paper, paper, and nursery care, spirit play. Wait, you mean you're going to babysit my kids for free? <laughs> it helped I knew Jim Harper from the fire department and knew that no harm would come to my children. Thanks, Doc. And then Robin's welcome. It's like finding the most comfortable seat to sit on after being on your feet all day. Along with every other human, my crazy children are welcome here, and that is exactly what I wanted. And we laughed, like full belly laughed, and the pastor laughed. I went home that day and called my mother and said, hey, guess what, I just laughed at church, like really laughed. This pastor is hilarious. Eric and I kid around and say that Robin must have been a stand-up comedian, or perhaps she does it at night for extra money. <laughs> but she's hilarious, and I thank her for that. <laughs> but then it became about me. I was a glass half empty type of person. From my job in the medical field, where pediatric rotations exposed me to abused or sick children, I couldn't exist. I couldn't breathe. I gave up my dream to work in pediatrics. To seeing my own family sick and losing loved ones too soon. To being unable to watch the news because of the stories of child, pet, elder abuse, the terror attacks, uh, people being murdered. I always question, sometimes still do, where is the good? First Church members and Pastor Robin have helped me to be able to find it, to see it, to search for it. It may not be here every Sunday, but I listen to the sermons every week. Thank you, Linda Davis. I even rejoined Facebook just so I can follow the First Church website. 
I used to listen to the sermons while getting ready for work in the morning, but would ruin my makeup, as I have more than once broken down in tears. So then I tried listening during my morning commute, figured I wouldn't cry as much if I was driving. But then there was the sermon on a racist event against one of our members that made me want to drive someone off the road I was so infuriated. So now, folding laundry. Laundry can take my emotions just fine. <laughs> I feel that I now have more tools to see that the glass is actually full to the top. The ability to see both sides, all sides for that matter, and be here for one another, to be good, do good, and to just love one another. I thank you First Church for that, and I look forward to the future together.